Evasion this week winds down in Congo, where there are plans for citizens to embrace the biometric passports. <laughs> A biometric passport, also known as an e-passport, is a traditional travel document that has an embedded electronic microprocessor chip, which contains biometric information that can be used to authenticate the identity of the holder. The passport's critical information is both printed on the data page of the document and stored in the chip. Public key infrastructure, PKI, is used to authenticate the data stored electronically in the chip making it expensive and difficult to forge. As of April 2017, 96 countries are issuing this passport. Here in Congo, the need to finally ensure the non-biometric passports are phased out is coming suddenly, forcing all Congolese nationals to travel on biometric passports from October the 16th, and this has provoked a backlash from lawmakers already vexed by revelations about the document's high cost. In Kinshasa, travel agents say they're scrambling to help their customers, many of which will be stranded abroad if the bank comes into effect. I wonder what's going to happen to those who are already outside the country and who will be coming back in October 16th. For example, those who travel to the U.S. and who will be traveling back via Belgium or France after October the 16th, we don't know what's going to happen. Even though Democratic Republic of Congo sits near the bottom of the United Nations Human Development Index, the biometric passports earlier introduced in 2015 are among the world's most expensive. A Reuters investigation in April showed that $60 of their $185 purchase price goes to a company registered in the United Arab Emirates whose owner is believed to be a close relative of Congo President Joseph Kabila. Despite a subsequent outcry, Vice Foreign Minister Agitoto said from October 16, citizens will no longer be able to use non-biometric passports, some of which are not due to expire until 2020. The government is justifying this change on security grounds and says those who try to travel on non-biometric passports would have their document confiscated and replaced with a photocopy. In Kinshasa, the decision continues to make headlines with Congolese citizens expressing their displeasure. We are all being penalized because we have passports that we bought two years ago. A passport that is still valid until 2020. But today, they're telling us that our passports are invalid and that scares us. Because it's costly and we now have to find money to buy new passports. While we already have one that is valid. It's really difficult for us. First of all, it's not easy to obtain a passport. When I applied for my passport, it cost me 250 USD. I struggled to get that money at the time because I was a student. So this is not good for us. Economic analysts such as Ali Kitenge called the decision knee-jerk and said the outcry over the ban and the logistics may force the government to postpone the exercise. Je crois qu'il ne sera pas invalide et je parie que le gouvernement va devoir reculer sur cette décision. I don't think these passports will become invalid and I can bet that the government will have to postpone this nonsensical decision which has created a lot of debate. But if it's compulsory for those who have to travel to get the new passport then it will cost them a lot and they'll be forced to spend a lot to acquire a new passport. Many Congolese are hopeful that this decision will be reversed to ensure proper planning for those who need the passports. This is where we call it a day. Many thanks for watching. I'm Bukola Joe Ukitumbi.